I need to have some faith in my Pokemon. <laughs> Hello friends, my name's Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and this is the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Yes, we're gonna go back to one island and tell Bill that we uh, ran his stupid errands for him, found a little girl who was in Barry Forest being molested by a Hypno. <laughs> It was so sad! Um, are they in the main building? Or, or am I not remembering properly? I think it is in here. Hey, hey guy! Hey Dayton! What kept you so long? You been out having a good time? I got it done, the PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill's one amazing guy. No, no, there's almost nothing left for me to do. See you, Leo, I have to hand it to you. You learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, there you have it. I've finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. See you, Leo. I'll be seeing you again. Dayton, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise we'll show you around these, these islands sometime. Your junk bond, promise. All right, we're back home. Wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy C. Leo seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. All right, thanks for your company. And thanks for yours. Let's go ahead and check out Viridian. Viridian City. On the road to Viridian City. I think we can fight Giovanni and get our gym badge and be awesome and get a victory run and start grinding out my Pokemon in order to beat everybody's ass because I, I will say it again. I plan to finish this. This shit is not... <laughs> Not gonna uh, get derailed. Not by Giovanni, not by fucking anybody. So, Arcanine's in the back. He should be getting some uh, EXP share experience, which will be nice for him. Hey, buddy. Ready, gym leader returned. Good. Excellent. I shall defeat him. Hey, buddy. I'm over here now. Now I'm over here. Ha ha! Ma ha! Oh, it did nothing. Wonderful. <laughs> Gonna have to think this one out. Well, can I go past this guy or something? This isn't this isn't going well at all. Hi you! The truly talented win with style. Uh, I'm pretty stylish. Got a leather jacket on. Mm. Your name's Warren. You don't get to talk to me about style. A level 37 Weedle? What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. You should have evolved that like 27 levels ago. But good for you for sticking with it. I'm sure one day it'll be the best Weedle there is. Because nobody was crazy enough to keep a Weedle around that long. Got a mag cargo? No problem. My Arcanine is in the back. Sucking up that experience. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, damn. Wing attack does like nothing. And he's gonna harden up, which is not good. I do have bite, which should be able to uh, get around the defenses. But I'm hoping he doesn't have rock throw or some such. No, he's just hardening. <laughs> just sitting there and hardening. It's gross, bro. Nobody wants to see that. Boosh! Knock him out. Knock him out of the box. Good. Dead Mag Cargo. Batman gets up to level 44. Yeah. Look at that attack. Look at that speed. My god. He's a madman. A Victor Bell? No problem. We can also sweep that thing up with a wing attack. Just one. No more, no less. Maybe more? No, it's good. It was moving a little slow. Victor Bell might have uh, some decent HP totals as well. And he's got a Lugia. Oh my, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's go to Acorn. Lugia is a flying psychic type. So Acorn should be able to put the fucking hurt on that thing with a faint attack. Um, I will do fake out just because it's a free move. There's no reason not to use it kind of crazy not to use it as a matter of fact because you're letting your enemy get a swing on you that you shouldn't you should just uh, whittle away his life 
little damage at the time. Lugia goes for safeguard, uh, which is not gonna do much because that's not the battle approach that I have, and faint attack should take it out. No. God damn. Oh Jesus, it has recovered. Oh Lord. Lord Almighty in heaven. Okay, here we go. More faint attack. At least it's a move that never misses. But uh, this could be a little frustrating. He goes for Gust. He got that flying move. He, he kept it hidden. That's gonna be too late anyways, isn't it? No! She's got a fucking hyper potion. That's so awful. Okay, so uh, hyper potion on Lugia. Faints attack again. It's not gonna do. Oh, there's the crit. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, that's what you get for potioning up. And I'm gonna go ahead and sack it on this turn. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer of a fight than that. Uh, basically because if that wasn't a crit, he could have just recovered and uh, made this quite a long fight, which I don't appreciate. He's got a Della Bird as his last Pokemon, and once we're all done snickering, <laughs> I'll make sure to uh, put this thing in the ground. It does have the Ice type move, but I don't think it's going to matter, really. Its defenses are paper thin, and I might get a heal for present. No, not today. It blew up in my face. It's a sick world we're living in. Sick people. And it's gone. And it's over. And it's done. And you're gone. Good. I'm waiting for Arcanine to level up, but he doesn't seem to want to. I lost my grip. We all did, bro. We all did. And let's see. Let's put Aldi in the front. He would like some combat experience. Yes. Oh, you blocked me off. God damn it. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Why why'd you have to come all the way over here? <laughs> Why couldn't you just let me come to you? Takashi. Takashi Crunch! A Melodic. Ooh. I love Melodic. Too bad I have to kill it with Dragon Rages. Dragon Rage! Everybody loves fucking Dragon Rage. It's actually not doing that much. Ooh. And the Melodic has Twister. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. So that's gonna do super effective damage to me. Even though this thing is just a fucking water type. Okay, it uses rain dance, which is good. S don't hit me with that fucking twister again. I'd be super pissed off. Maybe I'll hit it with the twister because slam has a tendency to miss, as we may have learned. And it goes down. Goes down nicely. I really like how I'm not getting many uh, tiny Pokemon in this gym. They're really pulling out all the stops. Oh, there's a fucking Mistrevis. Oh, Lord. Mistrevis has come to haunt me again. We'll see what the Dragon Rage does. Level 38 is pretty respectable, all things considered. Dragon Rage is not going to be able to hit KO. Hopefully, I don't get confusion, and I don't. Um, Twister, I guess, is our only other recourse. And it's not going to do as much as Dragon Rage comes close though and that fucking confused right oh please don't just please can you not consider it consider this don't uh we'll hit him with the twister the tweezer the tweezer yeah i knew he wasn't gonna hit himself wanna know why because he's smart in his brain he's a dragon Dragons are all like human intelligence, which really isn't even that smart. But uh, when you talk about beasts, it is. He's got a Butterfree. Let's let's see what Khan can do. I'm curious. I'm not too scared of a Butterfree. I know it probably has confusion or some shit like that. Uh, but if I have a fire move, then maybe Khan can get some level. I got Ember. That'll be nice for him, huh? And that's going to be a nice two-hit KO. Butterfree uses Supersonic. Of course it works. My god. At least um, Arcanine is definitely a bulky Pokemon. He could smack himself in the face a couple times and be just fine. Oh, but he gets Whirlwinded out. I guess it didn't really matter. We'll go ahead and fake him out. You asked for this. You made me do this! 
and flinch, and cut, and destroy the Butterfree. Hooray! As it was meant to be. Oh, not much experience there. Arca Arca and I took most of it, but uh, that's kind of what I wanted, so good. Good, good, good. I'll have to go back around the other way, I presume. Shoo, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, wonderful. We found our way to Giovanni. This bastard. I got a hyper potion up just a little bit. Hyper potion up. Get my, my people ready. They're always ready. It's me who's not quite ready. I need to have some faith in my Pokemon. That's right. Where's that fresh water? Did I feed it to people already? I bet I did. Doesn't matter. We got plenty of hyper potions. We'll buy uh, four restores before the Elite Four. But now it's time to beat that ass. You ready, Giovanni? I'm ready. Yeah, beat that ass. Welcome to my hideout. Shall be. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you found me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. And and you shall face Dayton. The also greatest trainer as well, too. <laughs> he sends out a Kikleon. Oh, level 45. Holy shit, man. That's no joke. I'm gonna go ahead and try and hit that thing with a slam. Because Kecleon has a color change ability, which allows it to change into a resistant type once you hit it with a, a move. Um, it doesn't change into rocks, fortunately, there. And, yeah, relatively easy KO for the Albino Dragon. He's got a Kingler. I will go ahead and send in Use Acid. We're not fucking pulling any punches with this guy because his Pokemon are definitely uh, up there in level. So, level 42 Kingler. No problem. Giga Drain is gonna fucking sack this thing hard. Uh, but he does go for the Protect. Little bastard. You scared? Why you scared for? Huh? Don't do it again. Okay. He didn't do it again. Don't worry. I'm so laid back. I'm drinking the coffee, Giovanni. I needed the coffee to, to pet me up for this battle. Because you're so weak and boring. I beat that ass like three times already. You coming at me? Here's a Kecleon. Here's a Kingler. Here's a Flaffy. Flaffy? Bitch, that shit's not even fully evolved. What the fuck are you doing? You call yourself a gym leader, kid? God damn! You should just go home! So we're uh, mostly halfway-ish through his team. Fake out. Boosh! It's not probably gonna do that much, but that's just fine. I've got the faint attack in the back pocket. And uh, he does out-level me, surprisingly, with this Flaffy. Um, which makes me a little scared. I don't know if he has anything higher than this. And if he does, we're definitely going to have to uh, grind a bit on Victory Road. Oh, he goes for the fucking Hyper Potion. That is a bummer. I am now paralyzed, uh, but I don't think I'll switch Acorn out of here just yet. He's got some more gas in the tank. 141 HP. That is fucking crazy to me. Thundershock will do not much at all because Grass type, and hopefully this Mega Kick will fucking nail the Flappy. Yeah! Fucking oh, trick! That thing goes down hard to a Mega Kick. Yes, sir! And, uh, <laughs> I like how Arcanine's just leveling up in the back. He's got a Smoochum. Um, while I'm not too scared of it, I don't want any Ice-type attacks to hit my little Acorn. So go on, bring it out. Level 45. It's, it's getting up there, man. Oh, but we do sack it in one hit. <laughs> I guess I should not be as scared of it as I thought. And now a Skitty is his final Pokemon. So he came out the gate hard and now uh, has been severely let down by his Pokemon. Skitty's almost like a Persian, uh, just not as good. Level 50. Holy fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, all right. We're gonna live. We could take another one of those even. Shit, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> all right. So 
so that's it. We got fucking eight badges, son. We're on our way to the Pokemon League, kid. That was truly intense. Sort of. You have one. Here is the Earth Badge. We got the Earth Badge! And 5,000 Poke. I like it. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. TM26. Wonderful. It contains Earthquake. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. That's pretty good. Everybody likes fucking Earthquake, don't they? I don't think I have a Ground-type Pokemon. Maybe Cradley can learn it. Ooh. Ooh, tasty. So, friends, that is it. Eight badges, kid. We're fucking on our way to Victory Road. I need to do a little more training probably before then. Uh, definitely with Khan. And we can get that Arcanine into action. So if you did enjoy this episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.